Our first guest is a, a man of faith, a man of the cloth. Uh, please welcome to the stage, Reverend Parsimony. Hello, hello to everyone uh, here in uh, this place. New York City, this yes, is... Yes, oh, please don't say it. It's bad enough we're here. We have to remind ourselves. <laughs> what a terrible burden it is to be walking around in this city of sin. <laughs> you think the entire city is full of sin? I mean, there are uh, houses of worship everywhere you look. Son, and... son, are your eyes broken? <laughs> What's that? Are your eyes broken? Are my eyes broken? Yes, look around you. This place is just a den of iniquity from stem to stern everywhere you look. What is it that makes you feel that way? Is it the, the variety of different types of people, or is it the... I don't like that, for certain. <laughs> kind of figure that was the main complaint. I don't know why we need so many people to be running around. What's, what's the point of it all, you know what I mean? Like, what, you can't possibly get to know uh, that much about uh, other cultures from being all crammed into this uh, fishbowl. Is part of it how late everyone stays up? I mean, the, all the businesses seem to uh, stay up all hours of the night. Uh, do you know that, uh, that fun expression, uh, nothing good ever happens uh, past midnight? You know that expression? I guess so. It's, uh, it's for, it's for, it's, it's, it, I say it's for people who have uh, what's called FOMO. Are you familiar with FOMO? I'm familiar with FOMO. I'm not sure how you are, but... I hear things, I hear things. You heard FOMO. I have to... I heard FOMO. Do you doubt me? Do you call a man of the cloth a liar in front of all these hell-bound people? I, uh, I mean, I've heard of FOMO. Who, where, where did you chance upon the expression? I hear young people talking. You know, we have... Uh, in my church, uh, the Presbyterian Church, we have uh, many uh, outreach groups for the kids to keep them on the straight and narrow. It won't work, of course. They're all doomed to hell. There's nothing... Nothing God hates more than a child. Who's worse? <laughs> oh. Do you think that when children become adults, then they're, they're actually worthwhile? A little bit of... better. I mean, they got a chance to sort out their, uh, and suppress their, uh, their hideous desires. But children, they're all just these monsters that want and need things, and they're expressing themselves, their feelings. That's what... Oh, God doesn't want you to do that, by the way. God doesn't want you to do that. You're supposed to pray silently at the foot of your bed, kneel down there, <laughs> just with your hands clasped together, making a little church that you can look at. And you get yourself in the mood, looking at that little church hands. Then, uh, then you close your eyes and you just beg God, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me, God. I know you despise me because I was born with original sin and I'm certainly not doing anything to reverse it. And uh, yeah, there's so many reasons for you to be mad at me. And you're justified in every single one, of course. Uh, I'm sorry that I exist. Uh, I would point out that that was your idea, not mine. But uh, I know that'll just make you mad. So uh, forget I thought that. <laughs> then you just keep apologizing, apologizing until you get sleepy and you crawl into bed. You ever fall asleep in the middle of a prayer? And just oh, wake I, up the next morning on the ground? I have been. <laughs> Many's the time I've fallen asleep in a string of apologies to God, and uh, I wake up, and uh, sometimes I wake up with a start like, I'm sorry, God, like that. Do you also apologize in your dreams? Are you praying in your dreams when oh, that happens? Oh, I wish I could. In my dreams, in my dreams, I'm, I'm not so much apologizing, just running, just running, 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 because I feel like God's after me. It's, 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 it's God the Father and His Son, Jesus, and I don't know, there's like angels and stuff uh, running around. Everyone's trying to get me. They're just trying to get me. Seraphim? Seraphim, cherubim. No, I'm talking about my friend, Seraphim. I was, wa <laughs> I was wondering if you knew her. Wish God were here right now to destroy you, but he's probably in one of the many useless churches you have in this town. Can I ask you a serious question? Do Let's you... see. <laughs> You're doing the steeple with your hands. Go back to the prayer, sure. Yeah, back to the prayer. Do you have to do it if you're in a church with a steeple? If you're in a church with the steeple, you do the old, uh, the old uh, double fist where you, 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 you interlace your fingers mm -hmm. and uh, that's to ward off against uh, devil attacks. 
Uh, you think you're safe in a church, but that's where the devil likes to be the most of all. If you've ever seen any of those movies where they're always uh, turning the, the, the cross upside down and stuff like that, that's, oh, devils love to do it. There's always, always someone like Arnold Schwarzenegger like going in there or, or Keanu Reeves like shouting at God or something. Right. You know, shouting, at the, <laughs> shouting at the cross and shouting at right. God like, why did you do this? Right. When did Arnold Schwarzenegger do that? End of days, my good man. All right. How about, how about Keanu Reeves? When did he do it? The Devil's Advocate. Oh, okay. Well, if I'm not mistaken, oh, weird applause for The Devil's Advocate. Not, Every movie is someone's favorite. Not, oh, that, sh- that shouldn't be so. I, th- I think if a movie does, makes... <laughs> if it doesn't make a certain amount of the box office, no one is allowed to claim it as a favorite. I loved it. What is your favorite movie? Oh, my favorite movie. Um, let's see. I haven't been to the films in quite a long time. Uh, probably uh, Herbie Goes Bananas. <laughs> it's about a car possessed by a demon, and uh, in the end, uh, it's uh, no good for the demon. He's just trapped inside that car, so he can't really do any bad work. He just wins a couple of races, I guess. <laughs> Goes bananas, certainly. Uh, you know what? I, that, actually, that title is a lie. He does, he does in no way go bananas. <laughs> Kept waiting. He, re- he reacts in, 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 in every situation the way <laughs> an anthropomorphic car would act. He does in the most logical bananas. manner. The most logical. If I, you put yourself in that position to say, well, if I were a sentient car, though, that's what I do, too. Kept expecting him to like, you know. He's the least bananas behaving character in the entire film. Yeah. Dean Jones, now he went bananas. Yeah, and to hell. (laughs) Recently, too. For appearing in films. Kept expecting, you know, the Herbie to drive off a cliff or something, you know, but no. You kept expecting that? (laughs) Yeah, well, if it's going to go bananas, Bananas, it's like, you know, mentally insane. Well, I think if someone takes their own life, I don't think we qualify that as bananas. It's a very... (laughs) Did you hear what happened to Jim? He went he bananas. Went bananas. <laughs> I think that's, that's, that's underplaying it a little bit. Yeah. Seems disrespectful. Of course, Sylvia Plath, the most famous case of bananas ever. <laughs> Ernest Hemingway, bananas. <laughs> That's a good title for a movie, though. Sylvia Plath went bananas. <laughs> Is it set after the time she went bananas? <laughs> because Herbie goes bananas implies that it's oh, we're, we're, gonna we're watching him, him go as bananas. he currently goes bananas. Yes, and then of course that was a lie. All of the people connected to that film are in hell. <laughs> really, just lying puts you in hell? Okay, I don't know if you know much about God. He's not a big fan of lies. Big fan of sending people to hell. Don't you understand? Here's what you have to understand, all of you. God hates us. Oh, he hates us so much. He's just he's just setting all these traps for us all the time, looking for us to slip up, and then he wants to send us to hell so he can just stand up there laughing and saying, I told you so, I told you so. That's God. Sinning is almost like, you know, if you were in the jungle and you you know, you stepped on something and then suddenly, you know, it wraps around your leg and you're turned upside down, you know. Well it's a sin to be in the jungle for the for a start. (laughs) Really? Shouldn't be there. What about natives? Well, they're, they're, well, they're going to hell. They, they, don't know, they don't know about Christ, so goodbye. What? Big mistake on your part, natives. But no one told them about it. Missionaries. Oh, you got me there. I did. <laughs> and if, they can't get, if the missionaries can't get to these natives, well then, uh, you know, tough luck. Then the missionaries go to hell for not reaching out to those natives. Really? Boy, when they meet up in hell, they are angry at one another. I should have listened to you. I should have found exactly. you. This yeah. is your fault. No, this is your fault. Then a demon sticking him with a pitchfork. The blame game. The Just blame game. And then you know what happens? They're in for a hell surprise. <laughs> I was talking with a friend of mine about hell surprises recently. Oh, is that so? Yeah, yeah. That's astonishing. It's nice to hear you actually back up the fact that there are hell surprises. It's very surprising to me. A hell surprise? No, that you have friends. Oh. <laughs> you walked right into that one. Hey, I've been had by the best. <laughs> what percentage of people in the world go to hell? 100%. Like, what? <laughs> Why else would it be there? It's like an apartment. You've got to rent it out. 
How is it? <laughs> Have you gone bananas? <laughs> if if your your property is just sitting there, you're right. paying for it. And yet it's remaining unoccupied. You're not collecting rent. You're saying if you have another property in which you live and then you have this investment property, uh, you might as well rent it out. Sure. That's sort of what hell is, is like God's investment property. Uh, hell is also this conversation. <laughs> I feel like we're there right now. So, Reverend, may I call, may I call you Reverend? Yes, you may. That's my title. Mm-hmm. What is your first name? Have Robert. Ever... Robert? May I call you Robert? No. <laughs> okay. That's very familiar. And I earned this uh, title. I went to uh, seminary you school. earned become... it? Yes, exactly. Just by going to school? And it, it, we all went to school. <laughs> I went to a different school. I... <laughs> Do you know there's different schools? Yes, but how come I... How do, you, how do you think a nurse happens? Someone in your class just puts on a hat at graduation? But I feel bummed because I didn't get a title after graduating high school. Oh, because you haven't done anything. <laughs> Yeah, here, here's your, here's your, here, 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 I'd say here's your title, uh, high school graduate. Would you address me by that? Oh, I'd be happy to. <laughs> so, Reverend. Yes? What brings you to New York City? I'm frankly astonished that you're here. Well, try not to go bananas, but uh, I think that uh, a good, uh, 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 something that would go a long way towards keeping God from... Uh, uh, destroying this city immediately is uh, if we just shut down Broadway once and for all. Shut down Broadway the street or Broadway the... The idea. <laughs> the idea of Broadway. The very idea. It's getting out of hand and I think God is just, oh boy, he's got his fist raised ready to smash it down. You, you think Broadway is a den of iniquity of sorts. You, you mean all the plays that are put on? Every, every single, single one of them. People, first of all, people singing. They're not singing hymns. That's strike number one. I can't believe that's been lasting so long and God hasn't uh, turned this place into a fireball. Do you think anyone singing anything other than a hymn, God should turn it into a fireball? It's not for me to say what God should do. I'm just telling you what God is going to do. Is that what happened with the Great White concert? I'm not familiar with that. Why don't you tell me all about it? Oh, another time. After the show. Are why you don't sure? We, yeah, why don't we you don't want to go into great detail about the Great White Concert? I'll fill you in later. <laughs> all right. I look forward to it because I'll be gone. Um, so you think, what steps are you taking while you're here in New York City to shut down Broadway? Well, I made a sign. A sign. Yes, made a sign. I've been on cardboard or yeah, no, it's good, st- good stock, good like <laughs> thick, thick stock. Like like a two by four or well, that's that's the handle. Okay, you know it's a good solid wood. Okay, uh, and then uh, uh, the sign tacked to it is a thinner piece of wood, and uh, I got it painted real nice, real nice, and it says, "Please stop." <laughs> Nothing more? Just what, please stop? What more needs to be said? I'm on Broadway. I got my sign. The lettering's very clear. I really took my time with it. Broadway theaters, you re- realize, are not on the street Broadway, mainly. Uh, it's more of a... What ter- are you talking about? Broadway theaters are all over the place. It, it refers to a certain size of theater in the general vicinity. Well, what's happening on the street that I'm marching around on? Not a lot, I have to say. Because of my sign? <laughs> It seems to be working. Uh, have you found yourself in front of a, a play like Hamilton or anything What's that? like that? <laughs> Hamilton is actually, I think you might like it. Uh, it's based upon uh, the founding of our country by Alexander Hamilton. Well, that sounds pretty good. Keep going. <laughs> and it features people of color. What? <laughs> <laughs> now look. I got no problem with people being different colors. That's fine. That wasn't my idea. That was God's. But if you're, first of all, if you're a person of one color playing a person of another color, that's lying. But then all acting is lying. You didn't, you, they, that ain't real. You didn't say that. Someone right. else wrote it and then you're pretending that it's the truth. That's a lie. Mm-hmm. So every actor has gone to hell. Every single actor. Name an actor, I'll tell you, he's in hell. Tom Cruise. Hell. Wait. Living, not, he's going to hell. Oh, so you mean dead actors. Yes, I didn't mean. 
did I misspeak? Did I say that every actor, every extra You just actor said name an actor. I don't know. I thought the implication was there. Name a dead actor, and I'll tell you if he's in hell or not. You can name living actors. I'll tell you if they're in hell. Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> give, me, give me a mixed bag. <laughs> okay, the aforementioned Arnold Schwarzenegger. On his way. Hattie McDaniel. Hell. Humphrey Bogart. Hell. He's also, he married several times. That's, uh, that's mm. right out of order. Mm -hmm. George Clooney. Hell bound. <laughs> he also, he's going to hell for pranks. <laughs> I agree. What are you doing pulling pranks on people? Pranks aren't in the Bible. You can't do pranks. They're not in the Bible. I mean, Jesus coming back from the dead is kind of... How dare... Have you gone bananas, son? It's not a prank. That's a surprise. That's a heaven surprise. Surprise! I'm alive. Then he hung around for like 45 days, then he just like... Bloop, bloop, floated right on up. He was assumed into heaven by Almighty God. That's correct. Is he the only person who's in heaven? No. Mary, of course, his mother. Really? But what about Joseph? <sighs> no... Well, you know, his wife had a child uh, that wasn't his, so it's, their rules are rules. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> would baby Jesus, he's a child, would he have gone to hell if he had died early? Now, I'm going to refresh your memory. I'm a man of the cloth. I'm wearing reverend clothes. I have a, a great big shock of white hair on the top of my head and little spectacles perched on the end of my nose. I've talked to you all about God and heaven and hell for the past, uh, I don't know how long this has been, but too long in my opinion. I'm about ready to go bananas. Did you just ask me about uh, infant mortality vis-a-vis -vis our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? I'm just saying if you said that all children go to hell. You can't do what ifs, that's against the Bible. The really? Bible's not a choose-your-own-adventure book, son. You can't... Oh, what do you think King, King Herod should do? Turn to page 46 if you think he should not hunt the holy family down. In a way, it's a choose-your-own-adventure book in the sense of, you know, like, anytime you go to church, it's like, hey, turn to this page, turn to that page. You know what I mean? Just read it front to but back. But the outcome is always the same. Praise God. Ask him not to destroy us. There's only two paths you could choose, heaven or hell, and guess what? You're going to hell. <laughs> Do you think that uh, there's a reckoning to come? Do you think, uh, you know, what is described in the book of Revelations is going to happen here, a rapture? Are you kidding me? It's probably going to happen next week. Next week? Yeah. Why? Well, Wait till you see the Tony Awards, and uh, I don't know, you get uh, Neil Patrick Harris out there doing a magic trick, and then all of a sudden, he uh, lifts up the curtain, and it's uh, instead of, uh, you know, uh, Lynn Manuel Miranda doing a song and dance, it's uh, a seven headed beast uh, wearing uh, seven crowns. That actually sounds pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool until he uh, starts uh, gnashing you up in uh, one of his many mouths. Yeah, but I'm watching it on TV, so I wouldn't be there. Oh, yeah, you're right. Uh, probably this uh, hell apocalypse beast will just confine himself to the, the Tony's Theater. <laughs> you might not go, you know, south of Delancey. We don't know. <laughs> well, we'll see, won't we? <laughs> yeah, I guess we will. Uh, well, Reverend, I, I, you know, I, I can't say I wish you luck in your endeavor to shut down Broadway. I've enjoyed many shows on Broadway. There's oh, name one. Fun Home. That's a great What's show. What's that about? Fun Home is about a, a person who runs a funeral home. Right. I, I like it so far. <laughs> preparing people for, for the, the after. To hell. For, right. And then he's gay. Stop. <laughs> I can't have any more of this in my ears. Some great songs, the Ring of Keys. You probably have a Ring of Keys. Are there any songs uh, like, uh, I'm Sorry, God? That sounds like a real toe tapper. <laughs> People leave the theater with an, I'm sorry, God, I shouldn't have been gay. I chose it just like you said I would. That would be a surprising conclusion to that show. <laughs> I'm assuming the way the show ends is uh, a huge pit opens up on the stage and uh, a horrible glowing light comes up and everyone just steps in one by one and says, so long, time to go to hell. 
Well, Reverend Parsimony, I, I can't say that I really, uh, uh, you know, hope that uh, you win in this war right. against Broadway. Yeah. Sorry it took so long to say that. Oh, that's all right. I, you were very preoccupied with whatever's happening behind my back, <laughs> looking over my shoulder for the last 45 minutes. Sorry, but people are flashing signs at me. Oh, sure. What are those signs? Be ruder? <laughs> What, is someone telling you to steal second? What's going on? <laughs> okay, son, okay. <laughs> We're going to have to <laughs> sign you up for your equity card if you take one more step onto the stage. All right, we do have to get to our next guest, I don't if care. that's all right. Okay. <laughs> you share that with a lot of my guests recently. Is that so? <laughs> yep. Uh, we have to get to our next guest. She, of course, has a well-reviewed advice column. Oh, that's good. Woo! Advice. I hope she answers every question. Go to church. Mm Mm-hmm. Please welcome Natalie Scapapopoli. Hey, Scott. Did I, am I pronouncing your name right? Scopapopoli? Scott, Natalie Scopapopoli, yeah. Natalie Scopapopoli. Natalie Scopapopoli. Hi, who are you? Uh, my name is the Reverend Robert Parsimony. I can't hear you. My name, I say my name is the Reverend Robert Parsimony. Oh my God, this you're is like a live earthquake. As I can get. What's that? You're a real life earthquake. I don't know what that means. I can feel you shaking all the way from here. <laughs> I'm a little quivery, it's true. Yeah. It comes with age, though, does it, it not? It does, it does. I'm an aging man. Yeah. How long have you had that quivery, shaky voice? Oh, probably since uh, my voice changed in high school. <laughs> what did you sound like before that? I used to sound like this. <laughs> oh, you could still do it. Why don't you just put that on whenever It takes you want. a great strain, <laughs> and I have to keep on guard all times because God might get me. Uh, God around. might, like, fly down your throat. Oh, he's and... lurking around every corner. You ever, has that ever happened to anyone? Just God, like, coming down someone's throat or... Just... Hey! Yeah. <laughs> That's what happens when you swallow bird shit. That's what that is. Is that what that is, yeah. really? <laughs> hey, I don't make the rules. <laughs> so, Natalie... Hi! Hi, yeah. it's so nice to meet you. We have never met it's before. nice to meet you. No, we, we haven't. That's our second shaking yeah. of hands. Whoa! Look at it go. It's great. It's going so well. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so, Natalie, you're an advice columnist. Where yeah. are you published? Well, I kind of make my own uh, publication. I'm a receptionist at a well-loved, uh, beloved uh, insurance company in town. Okay. Can I guess what it might yes, be? Yes, you can. Is it... Keep going. Is that from Fun Home? <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it. I am gay. Da, 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 da. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> we are farmers. Yes, you got it. Yeah. You're far you're a yes, farmer. Farmers insurance. Farmers yeah. insurance. For farmers only. Yeah. <laughs> farmers insurance covers only farmers? Only farmers. Same way same as farmers only dating site. Yeah. We're all linked together. They never bring that up in the commercials. I might have I tried know. to That's get how ins- they get you. That's not how they get you, because they're denying everyone else coverage. <laughs> yes. they get, that's how, how they get, get you, you, by not bringing that up. Yeah. They tricked you. You've oh. thought about it. I've, yeah, I certainly have thought about it. Thank God I never called and wasted ten minutes. Thank God. Thank God. No, I heard you. <laughs> Do you think it's okay for a man who's not a religious man to thank God? You're really walking on thin ice there, son. In what way? I mean, just because... Uh, God knows, God knows you're not religious. He knows, he knows it's sarcastic. It's sarcastic. I'm actually saying, like, thank God. Thank, Do you believe God. in God? No. Well, there you go. You don't believe in God? Well, I mean, you know, I, I believe that there is a unifying force that maybe yeah. links us all. Oh, boy, oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. I'll see you literally in hell. You're going to be there, too, though. Of course I am. <laughs> Are you trying to put it off as long as possible? Oh, as long as possible. I'd make a deal with the devil if I could, but I know that'll probably get me there faster. <laughs> if we've learned anything from Devil's Advocate. <laughs> someone's favorite film. Great film. What about The Devil Went Down to Georgia? He was looking for a soul to steal. 
He was a little behind, yeah, right? Yeah, this is an interesting theological discussion that I feel will take away from our yeah. new guest. We have time. We have time. Well, here's the thing. <laughs> How is the devil behind schedule? <laughs> Who is he answering to? That he's, got, he's in trouble, and he's got to make up for lost time, and he's willing to have some sort of fiddle contest with some t- t- country bumpkin out in the middle of nowhere. Is he sort of makes his own hours, doesn't he? You, you would think. What's the point of ruling hell if you can't do that? Is, is that what the fiddle contest is about? He's late for something? He's, he's in a bind, he's way behind, and he's looking to make a deal. So he sees this dumb dumb sitting on a haystack, and he says, Hey, I'll challenge you to a fiddle playing contest. I'm the devil, I'll bring an electric guitar because I'm, I cheat at stuff. <laughs> Then somehow the devil, the master of tricks, loses the contest. And there's no judge except him. He goes, well, you beat me. And then he leaves. Let me tell you something. That is not how the devil works. That's wishful thinking on Charlie Daniels' part. Maybe he's behind when it comes to his own personal standards. That's an interesting theory <laughs> that you could share with him when you arrive in hell. Oh, I can't wait to go to hell. Yeah? Oh, really? oh don't yeah. say that. That's terrible. I can't. All my ex-husbands are there. I have five. You, you have five ex-husbands? Mm-hmm. And they're all deceased? Yep. They were all gay. <laughs> That's not an explanation. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're missing a middle part. I have five husbands who are all deceased. They were all gay. <laughs> no, you, all you did was repeat it. What don't you understand? How did they all die? Okay, I'll tell you. The first one was alive. He was a wonderful man. He was a lawyer. He was gay. He passed. <laughs> Next one. Uh, he, he worked at McDonald's. I kind of like took a step down with that one. He loved him very much. Great personality. Uh, he did pass away. Was gay. Um, the third similar story was his twin. <laughs> Married at the same time. Also worked at McDonald's. Yes. And you were a bigamist. Uh, yeah, a big macamist. <laughs> I can see that. Yeah, yum yum. Um, oh, you say yum yum. Yeah, of course I do. <laughs> Lots of people say yum yum. It's a word in the dictionary. That's right, baby. Yum yum is a word in the dictionary. I thought just yeah. yum was. Yeah, I read it twice. <laughs> what are she's, we doing here? She's got you there. <laughs> when you say it, you're reading a dictionary? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> When I say yum yum, I'm picturing myself opening the dictionary to Y-U-M and moving my eyes over it two times. That's how I see every word I'm saying right now. It's impossible to have a conversation. I feel very overwhelmed. You're imagining yourself flipping through the dictionary every as we're talking. Every time I need a new word, yes. Ugh, oh, so, so exhausting. If you were to say aardvark, kind of easy, or zydeco. Sure. Zydeco, Yes. Every time I say that, I flip right to the back of the book. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. So then your th- fourth and fifth husband. Oh, uh, they're both gay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do they do for a living? Oh, okay. Number four uh, was the president of the United States. <laughs> Wait a second. Oh, that's... One of the dead ones. So yeah. we're talking Ronald Reagan. Uh-huh. Gerald Ford. Gerald Ford. Older, 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 older. Nixon. <laughs> Go way back. William Henry Harrison? Yes! What? This is no outrageous. one ever talks about him. I love hearing his name. You... Could you believe it though? I married a gay ghost. <sighs> oh, he was... oh, he was a ghost. I'm such an idiot. Oh, okay. I'm so not sure did... if that's legal. You know when he... you're in love though, you don't see these things. I hate to ask, but uh, who is the fifth guy? Oh, uh, the fifth guy uh, I haven't met yet. <laughs> but you're already... He's already dead for... <laughs> From being gay, or how it's did related? He... Yeah. You just have plans in the future to marry a dead gay yeah, person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Were all your husbands dead uh, before you no, married them, or after? No. I'm just asking a question, Miss. You needn't to uh, jump down my throat like no, you're some sort of devil, was, like your God or something. <laughs> Please stop saying that. No, it was unusual. It was really unusual. But you know, he was a president. He was very charming. All presidents are very charming, you know. How did he come to you? Uh, uh, 
at, at your house or? Um, yeah, he came to me at my house. He knocked on the door three times. That's how you know it's a ghost. Um, I opened it. Still, I wasn't even really taking it in. But God, he was so handsome in his wheelchair. And he has a, as a ghost, he has a wheelchair. Yes, he broke his legs on his way to hell. <laughs> It's a long way down. Yeah. They have a ramp. They have a ramp. Yeah. It was good. <laughs> he knocked. We fell in love. Whatever. I mean, really, you know, my relationships don't define me, though. They really don't. Okay. I'm sorry. And I don't think anyone's relationships should define them at all, actually. It's no, my... but if you were married to the ghost of a president, I think people are going to want to talk about it. <laughs> did, did, you ever, he... did you ever date anyone interesting? Never. Mm. Oh, we have company. Hold on a second. There's more signs <laughs> happening. <laughs> Are you, are you a married man, Reverend Persimony? I, yes, I have a lovely wife. Oh, what's her deal? She's a pious woman who uh, is trying, like me, to stave off hell for as long as possible, and she thinks that uh, hiding in my shadow will keep her from eternal damnation, but guess what? It won't. That was in our vows. <laughs> How romantic. Well, guess what? It won't was in your vows. <laughs> I, call, I call him like I see him. Was that in your vows as well? <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> and then we shook hands and we were married. <laughs> No kissing? You have no, a kisser? No, what are you kidding me? That's, uh, that's, uh, that leads to other things, and then God is just waiting to get in there and tear you apart, limb from limb. But you already said 100% of people are going to hell. That's right. Why not so, have fun while yeah, you're fun down here? Yeah, fun while you're here. Well, uh, <laughs> oh. Sorry, Mr. Ackerman. There's, there's a, <laughs> I, you don't have to apologize. So you horrible. just were so flabbergasted by what I, I said. I'm just so surprised that you're saying it in front of a man of the cloth here. Well, I'm saying he, was, he seems like he's really holding himself back. If you think it's fun to be uh, rubbing parts together while you're thinking of uh, uh, brimstone uh, destroying your flesh, then uh, uh, go have fun, but not, not for me. No, thank you. Have you ever had an erection? What? How dare you? What? <laughs> Don't even mention it. But have you? <laughs> you really... What kind of a question is that to ask someone? <laughs> he couldn't believe what I said, and then he asked you that. So, <laughs> Natalie, you're an yes. advice columnist. Yes, I write an advice column. Uh, you you other... self-publish, you were saying? Yes, I self-publish it on uh, my computer. I print it out and hand it out and put it in everyone's mailbox in the office. Um, so it's really beautiful. Um, trifold. Um, trifold. Yes, I learned how to do that on Word. So I can print in three columns and answer three separate questions each week. So it's trifold like Paul Revere's hat or exactly. something? Exactly. It's a perfect hat trifold. That's a tri tri-corner. Oh. It's a tri-corner tri hat. Didn't, he didn't fold his hat three times. I don't know what he did. <laughs> yeah, here's what he didn't do. That. <laughs> well, maybe when right. he was traveling. Put yeah, what if he had to put it in the overhead compartment? Oh, maybe it was, what are you talking about? You're mixing history up. Plains and Paul Revere. This is the devil's business. Sorry, Reverend. I don't like it. It's like the steampunk stuff where they take a <laughs> superhero, they do a steampunk version of it. What are you doing? Steampunk stormtroopers and the like? God doesn't like that. Keep everything separate. But you like a regular stormtrooper? No, I don't like any of it. Don't you understand? But you take specific umbrage to that. <laughs> yeah, I do. S special exception. Yeah, that's right. To steampunks. All right, very good. Yeah. Okay. So what is, what is your advice column... <laughs> what does your advice column deal with? What types of advice? Just any sort of interpersonal re uh, relationship problems, uh, just life issues, anything that you're really struggling with in your life. Like, if you guys have any questions about something you're going through, I'd be happy to answer it for you. Oh, okay. I got just a the question. way I would in the style of my column. Uh, let's say, uh, all right, I'm in a long-term committed relationship of uh, uh, over 30 years. Uh, my wife, uh, every once in a while, makes uh, romantic overtures towards me, and I recoil in horror, and then she starts to cry. <laughs> what can I do to make her stop crying? <laughs> wow, congratulations on maintaining a relationship for so long. Thank you. You can't respond. Oh, that's right, I'm reading now. <laughs> I see. Congratulations on having a wife who's still interested in uh, having sexual relations with you at a, such a long point in your relationship. For, you've obviously been doing something right. My advice for you is this. And then I make the font really, really big to fill all the space. And then I say, stop giving such a fuck about it. 
calm the fuck down, let it go, live your life. Can I respond now? Yeah. Okay. I have multiple problems with your response. Okay. Why is the font so big? Because I had to fill the space. It's like a long. Why long don't you sheet make the column shorter? I, I only do three questions a week. You want to you know, fill the whole page. I want to fill the page. Yeah. I see. You're the one publishing it. I know. <laughs> Should I make it tiny? Like well, smaller paper? Yeah, that's one way to solve this problem. There's literally millions of ways Give to solve this. Give me one other way. <laughs> I'm small paper. Sure, that's a good idea. What's another idea? You have a million. What about making all of the type size uniform and, and instead of suddenly raising it in the middle of your answer? How would it fill it? Well, you could make the font bigger and then you could shorten the answer to just that crude thing you say at the end. Because I have a feeling that's your response to every question. Am, wow. I, am I wrong about wow. that? Wow. Yes, you are wrong about that. <laughs> Yes, well, you're very wrong about let's that. Let's test your theory. Why don't you, uh, you right. ask a question? All right. Uh, uh, do you have a pen name that I write yeah. to, or what is it? Pen 15. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. You, and you say, Dear Pen 15, and then you sign it with your name and age. Dear Pen 15. Is this, are you part of the club? Or? Yeah, I'm the, mem- the, the <laughs> chief member. <laughs> CEO of the Pen15 Club. Yeah, CEO. Dear Pen15, mm-hmm. I'm lonely out here on the road. <laughs> I've been gone from my family for many days, mm-hmm. and I don't quite know how to handle it. Signed, Horny in New York. <laughs> Age 28. Okay. record I said sign your name so your name is horny in New York apparently sure yeah. I'm thinking of legally changing it oh good and then Testing you shorten it, out. it to Heine <laughs> I shorten it to Heine yeah. yes I'm okay. shorting it to H-O-R and then N-Y capitalized oh like. yeah. yeah I like it okay dear horny in New York wow congrats on getting a job where you're going around the country you're really doing something great with your life and congrats again on having a family. That's so wonderful. Someone to miss. It's very important. Now I'll make the font very large. Uh huh. And then, right. Reverend, please. Yes. Then I would say, Horny, you gotta listen up. This is huge. Meaning the font? Uh, that's what I write. This is huge. With an arrow and to then, the font? In a parenthesis, meaning the font. Oh, okay. And also, what I'm gonna say is huge. Mm. That'll fill up a little space. Yes. <laughs> Calm the fuck down. Why don't you just go to your room and rent a movie on TV and jerk off to it? <laughs> now, is that the same thing I said to it you? It was slightly different. Yeah. No less I disgusting. Did, I did have to change it. <laughs> Can I ask, yeah. were you going to change it until he called you on it? No. <laughs> I thought not. Typically, my advice works for everyone in the office. Okay. Well, you know what? We have some other people coming out here. Oh, good. Maybe we could see if your advice works on them. I can't wait. Okay. Uh, These gentlemen were on the uh, program, actually, this very week on the uh, regular uh, show. They are a band uh, from the Northwest, and they're here in town doing a few shows over the next couple of nights, and they said they would drop by. Please welcome Rogue Wave. (laughs) Right. Natalie oh, runs good. an advice column. I, I don't know oh. if you get, were able yeah. to hear. I uh, heard uh, bits and pieces. It, it sounded um, like maybe we could get some help. Oh okay, my God. yeah. Do you, do you have, have a problem? Uh, yeah, some uh, issues here. You guys have a problem in your band? Yeah. Something wrong? <laughs> a song couldn't fix it? Uh, <laughs> not yet. Oh, so man. W- what Natalie needs is for you to audibly read aloud an imaginary letter that is addressed to her, Pen15. My name is Pen15. <laughs> so just say, okay. dear Pen15, then tell me your problem, and then sign it with your name and your age. And then she will answer it back and help mm-hmm. you with your problem. In typing. What do you specialize in? Just everything. I feel generic like I've proven knowledge. that. <laughs> Gener- we've, we've been searching for generic knowledge for a long time. Yeah, it's really okay. generic. <laughs> um, so I'm supposed to read the letter aloud and then my name and age. Yes, and age, please. yes. 
Okay. Pen15? Yeah, it's my name. Pen15. Have you ever heard of that club? It's very exclusive. Y yeah. Um, I'm so glad I'm here to fix this, this problem we've been having. <laughs> on the spot. I've been having serious. On the spot, yeah. Now, may, may I ask, is it uh, one collective problem that you're both having and that one of you is going to be the spokesman? Yeah, is it a problem with the band, perhaps? Yeah. Mm. Oh my well, then God. I think that they should do the question at the same time. Yeah. And then, yes, let's add a degree of difficulty to this. At the, at the end, they should give their combined age. <laughs> Yeah. That speak, sounds fair. Speak simultaneously and do math. Exactly. <laughs> wow. Killing Can you me. repeat the question? Yeah, so, no, we, we're telling them what the big problem is that we've been With having. our band? Our collective problem, since we share the same brain, and our <laughs> oh. collective name and our collective age. Okay. No, combined age. Combined age. <laughs> our combined age. Easy. Have, wait a minute, have They're you guys conferring. never talked about your ages with each other? <laughs> what kind it's, of a band uh, doesn't already combine their ages? This is a very superficial relationship. Yeah. I, I don't like to reveal my age too often. So, um, You're 15. So, I just said I didn't want you that, to reveal my age. Now we know. Did you say 15? Wow. Well, you look horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. What a precocious child. <laughs> well, I look horrible, yet I'm not old enough to get into where we play. So it's a what bad... What a tough life. It's a very tough life. Mm -hmm. Is, Is this problem? the question? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. All right. Okay. So now I know that you guys had some issues in the past. We talked about them on the show this week about the, yeah, about the uh, uh, name of the new record. Maybe that could be something that you uh, are looking for advice about. Oh, yeah. Should we give it to him straight? Yeah. yeah. Okay. This time for straight. Do you no want to lies. start the letter off? Dear Pen15. Dear Pen15, I really hate the name of the new Rogue Wave record. I can't figure out how to tell Zach that I'm not into it. Please help. Um, and, then, and then your name and combined age. <laughs> my name? Combined name? Yeah, sure. Oh, my name is... Hazak. Hazak 40. Hazak 40. Yeah, that's good. I Thank nice. you for the help. 40. Or collectively 40. 40. Combined, 40. you're 40. So you're 25 years old. Okay. Wow. <laughs> you, That's right. Can I say you look even shittier? <laughs> <laughs> and you're older. <laughs> I feel shittier, too. Oh, man. Just now. Hard life. All right, Natalie, what do you got All for All right, him? well, dear, what was your name? Z what was the combined pa name? Pazak. 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 Dear Pazak, first of all, congrats on having a successful band. Um, and congrats on having an album that you could name. Um, that's a huge accomplishment in and of itself. Um, secondly, and then the font gets really big. Um, Going to go really, like, really big. Oh, I know. <laughs> okay. And uh, so it's, this is a huge font now. That's what I'm typing to you. Uh, notice how big it is. Um, and the last thing I want to say to you is literally stop giving a fuck and celebrate. No Which is kidding. weird because that's what I said. Oh, wow. Problem solved. You should write an advice column. You should give some advice because I mean... Oh, yeah, you, I thought you, you'd do, never ask. You do seem to be the wisest person out this on the You're certainly the oldest. Well, I, I'd certainly like to think that my advanced age comparatively has given me wisdom uh, in uh, worldly affairs. So let me tell you, uh, shall I go down the line? Yeah. Uh, stop sinning, uh, you're going to hell. Stop uh, sinning? Stop sinning, yes. Oh, okay, thank you. You're having these multiple marriages. Uh, that's, no, that's not good in the oh. eyes of God. He doesn't care for it. All right. Uh, you, so you agree to these terms? I already thought I was going to hell. I've done a lot of horrible shit. <laughs> but uh, you sound like you look forward to it. Yeah, I do look forward to it. It's going to be amazing down there. What do you think hell is going to be like? Hell's going to be like the most amazing fucking birthday party where everyone's high and there's a big orgy the entire time. <laughs> Why? Why would it be like because that? Because everyone's sinners down there. But they're not in charge of hell, don't you see? It's uh, the devil and demons and so forth. I did not know that. <laughs> You didn't know that? No. You just thought it was a place where bad people went yes. and they were left to their own devices. Yes. Ugh, how do I turn it around? <laughs> well, it's never too late, except, of course, it is. You're going to hell. Okay. You, you got a smart mouth. You're very irreverent. I would say, if I were you, I'd uh, go bananas. <laughs> 
<laughs> you two. Uh, maybe if you, you, you'd be bound and determined to play this music, uh, the acoustic guitar, that's not so bad. It's, uh, it doesn't involve electricity most ways. So, uh, Wait, electricity is, is a sin? It's not, it's not great. It's not great. <laughs> but uh, I would say try to make more references to sheaves in your songs. Just see if you can work sheaves in there. Sheaves? Yeah, like bring it in the sheaves. Great hymn. <laughs> What's a sheave? I, I don't know. That's for God to know. <laughs> That's God's secret? We, we, he wants us to bring him in. Maybe it's like old Jeeves. Like a like like the the Bible search version of a ass sheaves. Bring him in. We got a question. Wait, sheaves are old ask Jeeves? <laughs> I thought he said sheaves was a person. No. What? I missed something. You missed a lot of things. <laughs> Wow, all right. Boy, in the, these in days sheaves. I would say that... Uh, bringing in the sheaves is a hymn. These okay. days yeah, I would when say I that... When I said the word hymn, did you think it was a pronoun? <laughs> <laughs> what? Why did you lunge at me, son? <laughs> it's kind of hard to hear each other up here. It is yeah. kind of hard to hear it each other. It is a little bit. So Are you guys having trouble hearing it? Oh. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Let's tell you what. Why don't we all talk at the same time? We'll get out whatever we want to say. How's that sound? Okay. Whatever you guys want to say. Ready? On the count of three, two, one. Or tell you what. We'll do five, four, three, nose one. Here we go. Ready? Here we go. Five, four, three, nose one. I can't. I think these days that it would be more like ask Jeeves would be more like ask Jeeves. He doesn't care for you. You are definitely going to hell. Oops, you're already there in New York City. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I don't think that's not know. Great. Some good stuff. I didn't know. Good stuff. I swear I heard a guitar during that. You what? I heard music during that. Really? I really did. Does that happen to you a lot? Uh huh. What music do you hear? I heard someone, like, fiddling a guitar. Fiddling a guitar. Is it the devil? Maybe. That's one of his cheat codes. (laughs) (laughs) Technically, the guitar is a git fiddle. Let me ask you a question of these musicians here. Now, so Robert Johnson, he goes to the crossroads, and he sells his soul to the devil so he can be a great guitar player. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay, then, so uh, so what do you think he would do if he saw, like, uh, Eddie Van Halen? Would he be just thinking, oh, I I really got gypped on that deal. (laughs) He's doing crazy stuff. I'm just playing these same (laughs) three chords over and over again. (laughs) Like, he put some classical music in that one solo. I I really should have waited. I think he'd be more dismayed to hear about the hell thing before that there's... He can't really decide. Well, now he he's sold his yeah. soul to yeah. the devil. Yeah. What, what he probably he figured he's going to go have? have a big party once he dies, you know. Yeah. But, but he now, able to. Here's, here's what I want to know. Is it that, uh, that, that uh, the devil just didn't know about musical advances? Like, that was, that at the time, Robert Johnson was like the Eddie Van Halen of his day, and other guitar players were like, I, how does he do it? <laughs> and then they just didn't exist. That, so did Eddie Van Halen sell his soul to the devil? Maybe Robert Johnson started doing all the finger tapping and stuff like that, and the whole crowd just sort of at the under the sea dance stopped, and he just kind of said, you're not ready for this, but your kids are going to love it. Uh, I would love to hear a hymn sung by Reverend Parsimony oh, wow. here. Oh, sure. Certainly. So do you have a subject that you're thinking of for oh, your Oh, what could my subject be? Salvation versus damnation. You're going to throw sheaves in there? I'll throw a sheave or two in. (laughs) What about Ask Jeeves? (laughs) I don't want to spoil the surprise. (laughs) Looks to be in G. Looks like the key of the chord of G. Mm -hmm. Does that mean anything to you? (laughs) God. (laughs) The key of G. There's no S key. That's good. Satan. That's good. There is a C for Christ. It's almost too sensual. (laughs) If you'd like to know the way to eternal salvation, it's simple. All you gotta do is avoid damnation, won't you? some sheaves and go and ask Jesus to get down on his knees and pray. There you go. 
it's an original hymn. It's an original hymn. It's a one verse hymn. It's over, guys. I'm saying it's over. How about how about a chorus? How about a chorus? Keep it going. Keep it going. Touche. Why don't why don't you take it from here if you're so here we go. Salvation is nigh. Salvation for you and for I. That's bad grammar. It is. Is that a sin? It's not not a sin. <laughs> Salvation is around the corner, New York. Natalie, join in in a big font. <laughs> Is around your ass. <laughs> oh, you're not finished? No, I'm not. Go get it. And while you're there, pick up some class. Hold on. I'm not done. I'm holding on. Salvation is the way to know you're on the right path. Wait, I thought it was the result Hold of being. On. Okay. <laughs> She's not finished. And if you're not sure, send me a note at myemail.com. Myemail.com? <laughs> and I'll send you advice back and tell you how to do it. Now I am done. <laughs> I think more songs should end with Now I Am Done. Yeah. It's, it's, Is that how the it's very ends? clear. And now I am done. <laughs> That's right. Salvation is near. Salvation, oh my so dear. To my heart, salvation. Salvation, God, amend your ways. Salvation, salvation. To the end of days. Salvation, salvation. salvation. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Salvation. I heard that he. fit the devil's advocate in there. Sure. <laughs> Salvation for Keanu. It's that person's favorite film. Salvation for dogs, for cats. Salvation for other devil's ad faux cats. Oh, he did it. He did it. It's amazing. Rhymed cats with cats. So close to Broadway. And do we all sing Now We Are Done? Uh, yes. Now we are done. All right, that's our show. Paula Tompkins. Paula Tompkins.